we, we, what attracts 10 percent tax are what we call intermediate products something which is not raw material no, not simple raw material but already already processed or already semi-processed yes sir, that one is 10 percent but it can also be uh, suspended thank you sir for about some years the, the idea of the the idea of the 10 percent raw materials it is zero tax but the intermediate products it is 10 percent and the idea is to encourage people to make the intermediate products here within east africa that is the idea but provided there, there is that medium term commitment that you will work with others to produce the clay is also under there in those in those swamps the, the clay would be there yes sir, uh -huh. so the question is how will you get the clay on a big scale because in the past the, the villagers were getting clay but on a small scale yes sir, uh -huh. now when you when you get it on a big scale I don't know how you can do it without undermining the the river. What ideas do you have? So, Your Excellency, if I may, uh, all these five clusters that we want to build, for example, in India, these five clusters in one town that we come from, they employ more than 2.5 million people. And many of the clusters are very women-centric. So that is what we want to replicate here, create more employment for the Ugandan people. And we want to utilize as much as local uh, resources and local raw materials. And wherever and whenever we need to import raw materials from uh, outside, we'd request your office for support for the duty-free import of the raw materials so we can produce it more efficiently and export it to the nearby countries. You know, that would be a request uh, from our side to help uh, you know, in our production. So all these industries that we represent, we want to bring in the best players from these uh, industries to come and set up factories here, few factories to start with. Uh, what we've estimated now is roughly about 60 to 70 million US dollars worth of investment uh, with 15 factories in the first phase to come in. If these factories are successful, many, many more will follow and replicate what they've done.